ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon edition of the ABC 3340 Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday afternoon, the 29th of August. Gustav, Hannah. Other action in the tropics, a lot on the plate, so let's get right to it. And again, we'll peek at our sky cams quickly, as we usually do. This is the Gulf Shores sky cam. Uh, that's the view from the top of the Phoenix All Suites. And boy, the scene looks so nice down there this afternoon. And uh, a lot of folks uh, for the past couple of days have had to make that decision. Do I take my Labor Day weekend beach trip or cancel? And that's still a tough call, as you'll see as we go along here. Uh, from the mountains, that'd be a nice place to be, Chihaw State Park. That's just south of Anniston, Alabama's highest mountain. Elevation there, 2,407 feet. Uh, looking back off to the uh, west, and, of course, the sky mostly sunny there. And down in Demopolis, the Tom Bigby River running high from all the rain from Fay. That's looking north from the Demopolis Civic Center. Of course, the sky's sunny around the state this afternoon. Water vapor satellite imagery. We've got a uh, front uh, to the north of a surface boundary there, uh, extending from that sharp trough coming through eastern Canada. And that little feature over Texas and Old Mexico uh, could be a player in steering Gustav in the days ahead. Uh, there's the tropical view. We've got uh, our two systems, Gustav on the left, Hannah on the right. Quite frankly, the convection is deeper with Hannah right now. And don't forget our little uh, wave. I say little. That's a good-looking wave coming off the coast of Africa. Uh, the outflow looks really good there. We'll have to watch that in coming days. But let's look at Gustav. Uh, it is now well to the uh, west of Jamaica and uh, should be a hurricane shortly if it's not already. Modeling, this is the 12Z batch. And uh, the models, you know, have been doing the hokey pokey. The 06Z shifted to the east. Now they've shifted back to the west. Model agreement, pretty good. The thing comes up toward the southeast Louisiana coast around Morgan City to Buras. And then... The potential is definitely there for a block north of the system to force this thing west, uh, maybe southwest. We'll see. The, the uh, models extend there from the uh, GFDL, which is on the uh, right. That brings it up to Waveland, Mississippi. And then you've got the no gaps, which turns it over to the Texas coast around uh, Freeport and Corpus Christi. So, again, that's the current spread. We'll uh, take a look at the uh, wharf. And, boy, this one's interesting. I don't have the loop in here to show you, but that's a still image, but it's got the thing south of the Louisiana coast, and by golly, the new wharf bends it back to the southwest without making a landfall on the Louisiana coast. Oh, boy, that brings it uh, back over to Texas, and that's the big question the New Orleans guys are having to look at. You know, you see a model like that, and uh, if that's the case, New Orleans would not have any big issues. Do you evacuate or not? Well, that's just one model, and again, this thing will do what it's going to do. It doesn't read maps like we do. The GFDL does bring it right up into the Buras, Louisiana area, and that would be a big-time problem for the city of New Orleans. But remember, the GFDL is on the right of the envelope now. Uh, we'll check the old European. It brings it up closer to Cameron, Louisiana, back over the southwestern coast. And note, we've got, you can see uh, Hannah over there, and, and I just wanted to show you what happens to Hannah. The uh, European brings Hannah down through the Florida Straits and curves it back up toward Tampa Bay and Fort Myers. So we've got, we're going to have action maybe in the Western Gulf and maybe action in the Eastern Gulf in coming days. Uh, here's the official track on uh, Gustav, and you can see that uh, the Hurricane Center brings it up to a point uh, a little east of Morgan City uh, Tuesday morning. And, of course, that would be a significant issue for New Orleans, and then uh, it continues a northwest track up into uh, western Louisiana, ultimately eastern Texas. And, of course, if that's the, the case, Alabama inland areas would be spared of any big-time wind and rain. And I'm really beginning to think that's going to be the case one way or the other. As that block develops, it will be forced westward once it gets inland. So uh, the thinking is that for uh, inland Alabama, Montgomery North, uh, we might not see that much wind and rain from this thing. But again, this is all preliminary. Hannah looks good, doesn't it? Deep convection flaring there. I wouldn't. I would expect that to be a hurricane sooner than later. Modeling pretty good agreement. Most of them bend it to the southwest, as does the official forecast track. They've got the thing over the uh, central or southern Bahamas by the middle of next week, and note they weaken it to a tropical storm at that point due to some harsh upper air winds. 
And again, you saw what the European does. It brings it across the Florida Straits up toward Tampa Bay. Again, that'll be one to watch. Uh, no dull moments around here. Let's look at the GFS. Uh, this is 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Saturday. And again, you can see that uh, – uh, we've got the prime westerlies up north in the Canadian border. Nice trough coming into the Pacific Northwest. There's some cold air up there. I, that's the other big story, I think. Uh, when we get that first good cool front of the season, it's going to be a good one. But uh, down below that, there's Gustav coming up through the Yucatan Channel. A little front might kick off a shower somewhere here, but uh, no big deal. Sunday, again, any showers around here should be isolated. Gustav coming on up through uh, the Gulf. Monday, Gustav approaches the Louisiana coast and uh, that, of course, is suggesting increasing moisture down over the southern half of the state. And then Tuesday, uh, the GFS moves uh, Gustav into the Cameron, Louisiana area, the southwest Louisiana coast. And uh, all of the big wind and rain with that would be really west of here, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas. Um, and, of course, we note Hannah around the Bahamas Wednesday of next week. Uh, what's Gustav just kind of hangs around. Again, that's going to be stopped, and it's going to be forced west, I think. And the question is, where does it happen? Does it happen inland or offshore? The GFS is suggesting it's going to happen inland. Thursday, uh, Gustav's remnant's going nowhere. It really doesn't move it southwest. It just kind of leaves it stationary, and that could bring some big-time flooding problems for Mississippi, if this is right. And again, we note Hannah coming through the Florida Straits. Friday, Hannah moves up into Key West and the Florida Peninsula. So uh, uh, that's pretty amazing. But at that point, we're in between, you know, Gustav to the uh, uh, west and Hannah down there to the east. And then on Saturday, the 8th, the deeper moisture from Hannah stays east of here. But again, this is all voodoo, pure speculation. End of the cycle, the uh, 14th of September. Westerly's getting a little deeper, uh, farther to the south. Look at that uh, big cool air high coming down the uh, east. And again, the uh, golden days of fall are not that far away when you see maps like that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog, as always. That's our number one resource for information on these systems, alabamawx.com. Uh, running updates all the time. Really good information you won't find anywhere else. Uh, over the weekend, we do one update a day video update. That's Brian Peters. He'll have that tomorrow and Sunday. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. But again, the blog is always there. So uh, check in often and have it in your RSS reader if you got one. That's it for the uh, Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We will see you uh, uh, in time over the weekend. And again, my next video here, Monday morning at 7. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.